Hello, my name is Ted Meyerson. In these videos that I'm sharing with you, we're going to share some thoughts on improvisation. And to start off, I'm going to um, talk about the music lesson by Victor Wooten, who's a great bass player. He's an amazing bass player and he wrote this book, which is about the language of music. And even if you're not a musician, it's an amazing book to read about music and improvisation and the language of music. Because when we're talking about improvisation, we're talking about learning to listen. It's all about listening. And when you think about listening, you have your internal sounds that you're hearing in your mind, and you can think externally, and you can hear the sounds of the dishwasher or the washing machine or the dryer or doors shutting. You can hear external noises, which are all musical in their sense. You have been an improviser since and an excellent improviser since you were a young child because you heard the sounds of your parents' voices and you imitated them with sounds and, and interesting noises that turned into words. And those words are rhythmic. If you're listening to my words right now carefully, you can hear that I stop, I start, there's silence in between the words, and in that silence, you're not sure when it's going to come into the next phrase. And my rhythms of my words are distinct and have a rhythm to them. And you can hear the rhythm to them. I can make it like that. But if we're just talking regular, there is a rhythm to our words. Listen carefully to the way other people around you are talking and listen to the rhythms that they're presenting in the spaces that lately you can listen to all the sounds around you and get great ideas and you can imitate them space is very important because all space is is a temporary break from a continuing piece of music if you think about it all words all thought all music even if it stops starts again eventually and there's a break in between that break means something all music continues forever it's just in some cases there's much longer breaks than others some of the best improvisers are the animals and birds around us if you ever are lucky enough to hear a mockingbird they'll go on endlessly with amazing rhythms, amazing melodies, each one different than the next. And you can get all sorts of great ideas about improvising from listening to mockingbirds or other birds or sitting in a busy place where there's lots of people talking and listening to the flows of the rhythm and the, the people talking all around you. Another great source of Improvising is when you're walking, listening to the rhythm of your footsteps and hearing the sounds that occur around you. Cars going by, doors closing, horns beeping, uh, water running, leaves rustling. All those sounds, just really listening. So imitation, which you practice since you were a young child, should come naturally and really you don't have to work at it too much. When you hear sounds in the world, see if you can imitate them. See if you can imitate a door closing, a washing machine, a mockingbird, guitar sound, a saxophone sound, any sound, any music that you hear, see if you can play it back in your head. You don't have to verbalize it. Just play it back in your head silently. And that is a great exercise for improvisation. Before you can actually take that sound and put it into an instrument or a rhythm, 
you have to internalize it and hear it in your inner ear first. So practicing that will make you a much better improviser. Just to give you an example of the music around us, I'm going to collect some sounds from my environment and create a tune out of that or some music out of that. Just all improvised and I'll put it, a link to it here so you can listen to it and get an idea of the music around us. One important element about improvising is grabbing inspiration from the things you're, that are going on around you. If maybe there's another musician there, maybe there's some people out in the audience listening to you, maybe there's a beautiful painting on a wall, and you want to be able to get all those elements in your environment and react to them. One exercise might be to think of different colors. So you think of yellow and play yellow in your head. Just play how it sounds in your head and imagine that each of the colors has a sound. And then picture shapes, circles. What does a circle sound like? Triangle, rectangles. There's no wrong answer. You just make a sound for that and that's the correct answer. And in doing that, when you're in a situation where you see shapes and you see colors, you can start representing them with sounds and, and uh, rhythms, and it can help your improvisation. There's infinite amount of ways to be inspired to improvise. Improvisation starts in your head with thoughts and reacting to experience either past experience or present, current experience that you are experiencing at that moment. Each week we'll have different things to practice. This week, the number one thing to practice is listening intently to your surroundings. Listen to your surroundings very closely. And if you can, once you hear a sound that you like, listen to it and play it back in your head. So you're practicing listening and then playing it back in your head. If you find this at all interesting or enjoyable or helpful, please subscribe. Each week I'll come up with some different ideas on improvisation and we'll have a new musical improvising idea each week. Have a beautiful musical experience in your life. I know I will. Okay, be well. Thank you.